Hello, my name is Serena Rooney Dougal and welcome to Vintage Key Studio. Today we're going to be looking again at the Ondulene. It's just a bit of an update because I've done some tweaking and some, some, some screwing. It's sounding quite good now. If you watched the last video about the Ondulene, you may remember that the sub bass was working, but the sub sub wasn't. So what I've done is I completely took it all to pieces. I rewired it a little bit and then uh, put some little rubber trousers on the components to make sure that nothing was touching inside, which is always a good idea for, for valve equipment. Now I've got the, the sub and the sub sub working. So here we go. So let's just show you. If I just play the, the normal sound. Okay. If I put the, the sub circuit on, which is the M tab, you will now hear that when I turn, in fact, I'm going to turn this down a bit because it's. So let's say normal fundamental tone, whatever you want to call it. The sub octave below that, and then the octave below that. So that's two octaves apart, and then all three octaves together. If you would hear it probably more clearly here, so I'll do it again. So. And then if I push the L tab down, that cuts off the fundamental frequency, so you just get the two, the sub and the sub sub. So the sub. And that's pretty good. I'm rather pleased with that. And while I was doing that, I gave it a bit of a, a dust and a hoover. And um, I replaced a few more pieces inside it that, that were kind of a bit ropey. Um, and I've got the tuning a lot better now because before it was fine in the middle and it used to kind of go all askew at the ends. But now we've got um, equal, almost equal tuning all the way along. So here we go. <laughs> And kind of, it's not quite in tune between the octaves, but so you can hear that. It's not bad, but it's, so if I just do from the. So it's not, not too bad. As I've uh, changed some of the components around inside, I actually got it to sound a lot more typewritery. So here we go with the typewriter. I got a uh, a typing certificate when I was at school. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a bell. So I've written out some um, a recipe for some of the other sounds on here. So we, we've got the the. Uh, the New improved bongo. So let's have a look at that. Here we go. Right. So we got uh, um, A C D e, F G J K P, and then you move the E up, the E tab up and down. All of these tabs now pretty much interact with each other in a lot nicer way than they did before. I managed to get it to make a quite nice flute stroke vibes sort of a sound, which comes across quite nicely. It was so in the higher registers. I just unhook the, the thing. Again, with the with the percussion, you can make it sound. Which is a lot better than it was before.
is that that riff? Sexy Ghostbusters. How about some extreme bassoon? All of the modifications that I did inside were inside here and they were basically just changing resistor values ever so slightly and just making sure that the capacitors that were in there were actually the same as the schematic because when I fixed it originally I didn't have a schematic or a proper one to look at. Now I have the, the English translation of the original plans from Wally at um, onduline.com. I've had a couple of weeks to do some work on it. It's the first time since I originally fixed it with the old French manual um, that I couldn't understand. So it's the first time I've fixed it with the new English translated manual and it's a lot easier to, to, to work out what's going on because although all of the schematics are in there, it's got lots of explanatory text in the book, um, which I couldn't understand before because I never did French very well. So thank you very much to Wally at uh, Forgotten Futures. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's just a little short one today and hopefully next week we'll be doing the uh, RCA beat frequency oscillator and an interesting set of speakers that I've made. So ta-ra for now. Check out the links in the in the down below bit. There's a few things there. Our Bandcamp page for other music we put out. You might want to subscribe to our channel so you know when the next video is coming out and uh, you might want to keep an eye on my face. Bollocks. I'll say good bye to love. No one ever cared if I should live or die. Good night.